Let's go from this to this. And this to this. This is the engine SP2120P cold air intake, and we're gonna put it on this 2013 Cyan IQ. First, disconnect your battery. Unplug your mass airflow sensor. Use a set of pliers to remove the wire from the air filter housing. Disconnect the crankcase hose. Use a 10 millimeter wrench to loosen this clamp. Do the same on the clamp that connects the air filter housing to the intake hose. Then remove this intake hose. Okay, we've got lots of space now. Let's make some more by removing the air filter housing. You do that by unclipping these two clamps and just pull it out. Next, remove this air filter. It's super dirty, no light gets through this. The new air filter is going to fit right down in here. Use a number one Phillips head screwdriver to remove these two screws, then remove your mass airflow sensor from the air filter housing. Place the mass airflow sensor on the new intake tube port. Make sure the rubber o-ring seals and then secure with the two M4 Allen head screws. You'll need a 2.5 hex head in order to tighten those on. Place the new connection hose on and then clamp with an eight millimeter socket head. Next, with this vibration mount oriented this way, screw in right here. For reference, this is the hood catch. Screw in from the underside and secure as tightly as possible by hand. Secure the new air filter to the intake tube with the eight millimeter socket. Place the second clamp on this hose. Gently place the intake tube assembly into the engine bay. Press into the intake hose. Position the bracket between the vibration mount and the fender washer. Secure the nut with a 10 millimeter wrench while making sure there's plenty of clearance around the air filter. Secure this final clamp with an eight millimeter socket. Reconnect the mass airflow sensor. Reconnect the crankcase ventilation hose. Double check the clearance around the air filter. And finally, reconnect the battery. And here's the completed assembly. As you can imagine, I'm very surprised at these results. First, brake mode is significantly faster than either drive or sport. This is contrary to other tests I've seen on the internet where they found that brake was the same as drive and sport as far as acceleration. Next, and just as important, I was expecting the engine intake to at least batch stock times, but no, the engine actually takes longer to hit 70 miles an hour in every case. It averaged 0.7 seconds longer. As you can see in the background, InGen dynoed this particular setup 
and they found that they got higher torque mid-range and higher horsepower mid-range as well. So I find it strange that I didn't get the same result. I'm going to give it a couple of weeks and see if the ECU learns anything new and gives me any more horsepower, and I'll do a retest and post it here. So please stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you'd like to see those results. But the sound is gorgeous. <laughs>